Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is about authentication in Cassandra. By default, Cassandra comes with zero authentication. So to enable the authentication, we must modify our main configuration file, the Cassandra.yaml file in our Cassandra cluster. So let's start. Now I am using Mobaxtrum application to connect with my machines in AWS. So this has many good features like multi-executing and it is also very simple to use. So you can find more information about this application over here. So let's start our video. I had three nodes up and running. And for enabling the authentication, I am going to change the main configuration of file of my Cassandra cluster in every node. Let's open the file, which is in the conf folder, cassandra.yaml. You can see over here, the default authenticator is hello all authenticator, which means everyone can log into the SQL shell. So, this, this is very bad as everyone can log into your cluster. So to authenticate the users, you must put password authenticator so that only the limited users can go to your SQL shell. Now I change the authenticator and saving this file. And I am doing this in each and every node. I am going to the con folder, my cassandra.yaml file. And I am changing my authenticator to password authenticator and saving the file. And at last, I am going to the con folder. I'm going to the main configuration file and again changing the hello all authenticator to Passport Authenticator, saving the file. So after changing any configuration file in the Cassandra, we must always restart the node. So for restarting the node, I am using node tool drain for draining data node tool daemon stop it and cassandra to start it again and i am using this in every node node tool drain no tool stop daemon and again starting Cassandra and with our node two no tool drain no tool stop daemon and starting Cassandra. So all my notes are up and running.
now i am connecting to the sql this through has been an error that authentication is failed so the as we enable the password authenticator we have to use username and password while logging to the sql shell so the default username and password after we enable the authentication is cassandra and cassandra so now we are using the default username and password to connect to the sql shell username is cassandra and the password is also cassandra so we got uh, into the sql shell using the password and username so but this username and password is a uh, known to each and every person who uses cassandra so there is no use of uh, using the same username and password so that anyone can access our notes so for that we have to alter the created user or uh, create a new role so i am going to change the password of this particular cassandra user so for that we must just say alter user and the user name with password and i am changing this to this and we must keep this in quotes in color and then so now let's exit from here and log in back again with the new user with new password so it got connected so in this way you can protect your data without uh, losing it by any chance by uh, other users so let's do that in all the nodes sql search user name cassandra password but always using username and cassandra username and password is a uh, somewhat irritating so i am going to do something so that you don't need to always uh, give password and username into your command so for that i am listing all my all the elements in my home directory and i have this dot cassandra folder and i am opening that so in that i am having a file called equal as hrc and i am opening that and in this file i am going to keep my username and password details so that uh, so that i don't need to pass this username and password always when i use the command so username and password
And I am saving this file. So now I'll try connecting to SQLSH without using username and password. So see, it got connected. So in this way, you can protect your nodes from other users. And also, you can directly use the single command without passing the whole username and password. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please like it and share it. And please subscribe my channel. Thank you.